Three years ago, I made a video on a DIY smart vacuum cleaner and you guys love it. Many of us how to integrate Wi-Fi and IoT into it. So today, we are rebuilding in with more advanced feature to make even better. Also, you send me their DIY Flexi Robot Car Kit, which is perfect for this project. Also, you has a wide range of similar products that are great for science and DIY projects. You can check them out on osoyu.com or find the store link in the video description. First, we can get these mechanium wheels which allow the robot moves in any direction effortlessly. Next, we have 520 motors with encoders. Also, you also provide the various electronics components and tools to help to build our vacuum robot. But for now, let's start assembling. Place the normal motors in front, place the encoder motors in the rear. We mount the motors into the metal chassis, which is quite durable. With the motor place, let's attach mechanium wheels. To do this, we use the motor couplings. The rear wheel should be follow the upward arrow pattern and front wheels should be followed the downward arrow pattern project files get in check leds and sensors to creating magic all for you come scripts that never fail once the wheels are fixed using screws our base is ready and it is already looks great he's midnight dream and the ones up where circuits flow making gadgets ready to go we are placing another top plate and attach it onto the chassis. Before securing this plate, we need to install all electronics components. For this, we are using a plastic pillars to mount them properly. Now, let's move on to the electronics. Voltmeter to monitor battery voltage. Power distribution board to manage power supply. Arduino Mega, the brain of the R robot. Motor driver to control the motors, battery holder to power the system, ESP8266 Wi-Fi shield for remote connectivity. Now the all components are in place. We can secure the top plate and move on to the connections. The wiring diagram is available on the OSOU's website. You can check it out there. All the connections are now done. But wait, there is too many wires. Don't worry, I have a solution. Thanks for today's sponsor LDM365 and LDM Student Lab. It is incredible platform for inspiring electronic designers. With LDM Student Lab, you can get free access to two powerful tools. LDM Designer, a world-class PCB design software that's professionally used to create advanced circuits and systems. And LDM365, cloud-based collaboration tool that lets you teach your designs and work with your team, no matter where you are. This is fantastic opportunity to learn how to design PCBs like a pro while earning certificates recognized by leading industries in India. It is doesn't stop there. LDM Student Lab provide PCB design courses. They are a structured, university level courses that teach you a A to Z of electronics designs, certifications, and advanced tools. You can get free access to tools like a power analyzer by Keyslide, helping your design and test circuits even the greater precision. I personally use LDM Designer to create professional grade PCBs. It is user friendly, packed with advanced features and make turn your ideas into reality so much easier. 
So if you are serious to about learning PCB design and standing out in the industry, head to the link in the description to get started with Altium Student Lab. Now let's get to the build. Now let's move on to the programming. Before upload the code, remove the jumper wires from the Wi-Fi shield. All the required codes are available in the Osoyoz website. Step 1. Testing the motors. First we upload the test code for checking all the connections and wheel placement. Use two lithium iron cells for powering the circuit. As you can see, the robot moves in all directions and everything working perfectly. Next, we program the Wi-Fi shield. Connect the Wi-Fi shield to Arduino's RX and TX pins. Download the code from website, change the Wi-Fi name and password in the code. Select the current board and upload the code. After uploading, the Wi-Fi shield connect to the network. Copy the IP address and go to the Play Store, download the OSOE mobile app, open it, go to the setting and here paste the IP address. Now our robot is successfully connected and is working. Now let's add vacuum cleaner. For this, I design EDF vacuum system using blender and 3D printed part. This version is more powerful than my previous design. If you don't have 3D printer, you can still build this DIY vacuum cleaner using simple materials. For the vacuum motor, I am using 1000 kV BLDC motor. After assembling all the parts, the vacuum system is working amazing and it's so powerful. Now, we need to attach into our robot. But there is a problem. The robot height is too tall for proper vacuuming. To fix this, I remove the second and top plate and attach direct into the bottom plate. This adjustment reduces the height and makes the design more compact and efficient. Now the vacuum cleaner fits properly and it's look much better. If you want to add optical avoidance, you can install the servo motor and ultrasonic sensor to detect objects. The robot is now fully assembled and ready to go. This is great project for students and anyone interested in DIY robotics. If you want to build something similar, you can get also your DIY kit, the purchase link in the video description. Currently I am controlling this robot via Wi-Fi on my phone. But let's try something new, uploading optical avoidance code to make it autonomous and it's working fantastically that is for this video in the next one we will link the DIY drone so make sure to subscribe stay tuned for that hit the like button and I see you in the next one innovations crafted time PCB boards and 3D dreams catching waves on our YouTube streams